All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So as we rapidly approach the 6th anniversary on Global, which is almost exactly two weeks away, I'm going to be answering a question that a lot of people have been asking me a ton recently, and that is, how many free-to-play Dragonstones can I expect to get throughout the entirety of the 6th uh, anniversary celebration? So uh, right now we're on the Dokkan Wiki, where we have the details for JP's 6th anniversary, which was, you know, about five months ago. And we'll be using this as a reference to get a rough idea of how many stones that global players can expect to get. Obviously, the final number is probably not going to be exactly the same, but it should be quite close, you know? So with all that said, let's jump right into it. And the first thing I'll say is, uh, of course, the anniversary is broken down into multiple parts we have the countdown which is i think starting in like six or seven days and then we have the first part the second part as well as the third part and the awesome thing about the dokkan wiki is that they do a full breakdown of how many stones each part uh gives out you know how many stones that jp players got for each part of their celebration so let's just take a look at this and uh, we're starting with the countdown here. And even though there weren't a ton of stones given out here, there was the comeback campaign, which gave out stones based on the total number of players that returned to the game for the anniversary. And it gave up to eight stones. And then there was also a countdown login bonus, which gave an additional 10 stones. There was also a returning player login bonus, which gave out 20-ish stones. But this was only for players who hadn't logged in for an extended period of time before the campaign started, so if you're consistently playing the game, then this doesn't really apply to us. But with the comeback campaign and also the login bonus, there were about 18 stones given out for the countdown part of the celebration, right? And then we're going to move on to part one, starting with the daily login. So for the first login, when the campaign or when the anniversary first starts, they gave out 30 stones for day one. And then for the rest of the days of part one, there were 33 more stones available for logins. So a total of 63 stones just for logging in every single day. And then there were 11 stones available from daily missions. So one stone per day. And uh, I guess part one lasted for 11 days. And then there were also some special missions, which gave out six stones. There was a new boss rush stage, which gave out the standard 35 stones. We had, of course, new stages of Dokkan events for the LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku and the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, and that adds up to four stones because there's two difficulties per stage. And then there were a couple of new story events. The first one is the Power of Trust Miracle of Universe 7 Part 1, and this is the story events that uh, allowed you to farm the Rita Play uh, Krillin and 18, as well as the Roshi and Tien. And that was a total of 11 stones. And then there was also the Master Roshi's new challenge, which is for, of course, the uh, LR Max Power Master Roshi. And that gives out 9 stones. And then there was the Daily Majin Buu's Shape Up Training for Skill Orbs, and that's 1 stone. And then we have the Fierce Gathering of Transcendent Gods of Destruction, stages 1 to 4. And if you're able to complete them, that gives out 24 stones in total. And there are going to be multiple parts, because I think in total there's like at least eight stages uh no my bad 12 stages okay so yeah four stages per part for the first part we get 24 stones and then we have the sixth anniversary ultimate clash the special edition one which gives out 40 stones and then we had a co-op campaign which gave out 12 stones an sns campaign which gave out three stones and uh, on global this will probably just be some kind of facebook campaign and of course we have the first rank or top grossing stones and in total, there were 130 stones. So it's, um, I think, two different top grossings. The first one was 100 stones, which Global should also get. And then the second one was for 30 stones, so 130 for part one top grossing. And uh, there was a live stream thank you reward, which gave out 66 stones. And obviously, Global doesn't typically get live streams, but we could potentially get a Dokkan now, which gives out the same amount of stones. Or if not, then I'm guessing they'll just give out these 66 stones, you know, across a few different social media campaigns or co-op campaigns or something like that. Uh, either way, I do think we're going to get these stones if we don't get the live stream, which most likely is not going to happen. 
but uh, a Dokkan now would be really cool. Anyways, there was another social media campaign for 12 stones, and also a Ichiban Kuji collaboration for 14 stones. And on Global, we're most likely not going to be getting this Ichiban Kuji collaboration because that's kind of a JP exclusive thing. Um, we should have some other kind of campaign uh, on social media to compensate for it. So once you add up all these different sources of stones in the first part of the anniversary, we're looking at 441 free dragon stones over the course of less than two weeks, which is pretty awesome. And that's just, you know, the first part. So now we're going to move on to part two, where we have a daily login for 39 stones, daily missions for 13 stones, some special missions for five stones, of course, more stages of the Gods of Destruction event for 24 more stones, a new Infinite Dragon Ball History stage for 33 stones. We have an Extreme Z battle for the uh, Int Ultra Instinct Goku, which I am super, super excited for. And that's going to be 34 stones. We have the Power of Trust Miracle of Universe 7 Part 2 uh, stages for 15 more stones. We got Part 2 of the Masters Roshi new challenge event for 9 stones. Uh, another SNS campaign, 3 stones. Cop Co campaign, 10 stones and also first rank or top grossing for 30 stones. So in part two, we can expect approximately 215 free dragon stones, which is, you know, around half of what part one had to offer, but that's usually how these celebrations work. Part one is typically, you know, the most exciting part, the uh, most generous part, if you will, with dragon stones, and then it kind of pulls off from there. But 215 stones, in my opinion, it's still pretty decent and uh, that's part two now for part three we have the daily login for 30 stones special missions 10 stones uh, or sorry daily missions 10 stones special missions five stones we got the final stages of the gods of destruction event 24 more stones we have the extreme z battle event for lr goku and frieza which obviously is another thing that i'm extremely extremely excited for and that's going to be 33 more stones and then there's the extreme z area for warriors of Universe 7, where we can Extreme Z Awaken all of the free-to-play units. And that's going to be 16 stones, a new explosive chain battle for 20 more stones, SNS campaign 3 stones, co-op campaign 10 stones, and also end of the 6th anniversary gift, basically a thank you for, you know, being part of the anniversary with us. 30 stones right there for a total of 181 stones. So you add up all four parts, or the countdown plus parts 1 to 3, it was 18 stones for the countdown, uh, 441 for part 1, 215 for part 2, 181 for part 3, and that all adds up to 855 free to play dragon stones for the 6th anniversary, of course, on JP. But like I said, global when it comes to the stone count for these major celebrations uh, is usually you know, very similar. We might get, you know, a couple stones less, maybe a couple stones more, but it's going to be around that number. It's going to be around 855, which is not bad. It's not the best we've seen. I think for the fourth anniversary, the final count was actually over a thousand, which was obviously ridiculous, but uh, I'll take 855 stones over the course of a month. And uh, that hopefully answers the questions of uh, a lot of you guys out there who have been wondering how many stones you can expect. And I guess that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Um, I'll quickly show you these top grossing images here just to get you a little excited. We will definitely see these on global, obviously in English, but it should be the same images. So we have the first top grossing here. We have the second top grossing for 100 stones. And then there was the part two top grossing, there was the thank you gift, and uh, that's it. That's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are stoked for the sixth anniversary, as I said, coming up in, you know, basically two weeks from now. So not much time to go at all. And uh, shout out to the people who run the Dokkan Wiki for these amazing breakdowns, of course. Saves me a lot of time. And uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And 
If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.